What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video, and today I'm going to show you guys the rep method that I use on my 97 overall playmaking post score. First, you want to open up your nav, go down here to NBA team, and go to my minutes. Before you play games, the first thing you want to do is make everybody on your team have 48 minutes, and then make the 6 man have 10 minutes. And you want to do this so that your coach doesn't sub you out, because if you have a bunch of people playing around the same minutes as you, he'll keep you in for longer. Also, my point guard is Trey Young, and the reason I have him on the team is because he has Hall of Fame Dimer and Pick and Roll Maestro Gold. And I have Lonzo Ball coming off the bench for the same reason. He has Pick and Roll Maestro Hall of Fame and Dimer Gold. And the reason you want your point guards to have these badges is because Dimer gives you a boost, so every time the point guard passes to you, you have a higher chance of making the shot. And with Pick and Roll Maestro, every time you're coming off a Pick and Roll, it also gives the shot a higher chance to go in. If the point guard on your team doesn't have Gold or Hall of Fame, Dimer, and Pick and Roll Maestro, you want to head over to NBA Team, go all the way to the end, and request a trade to a team with a point guard who has Gold or Hall of Fame, Dimer, and Pick and Roll Maestro. This will make it a lot easier to make your shots, and your field goal percentage will be higher, which will get you more rep. If you're on a team with good three-point shooters, but you don't want to leave the team to go to a whole different team, you can either go to Influence Trade to try to get a point guard, or Influence Free Agents. And when you do go to Influence Free Agents, you can filter this by point guards, and you can go to Playmaking, press Square to filter it to see the best playmakers, and then you can view their player card and look at their badges. Right here, you can see this guy has Hall of Fame Pick and Roll Maestro, and since all these guys have A-plus playmaking, they're probably going to have Dimer and Pick and Roll Maestro. These first two guys both have Pick and Roll Maestro Hall of Fame, which is really good, and they're not that high of an overall, which means their salary isn't high, and the lower their salary is, the easier it is to get them on your team. Also, before you do this rep method, make sure to equip Long Athlete because it's the best layup package for big men, and equip these dunks because these dunks don't get blocked much. This under basket athletic flushes, it's a really good dunk package, but it does have one cockback dunk that's kind of bad. But other than that, all the dunks in this dunk package are really good and easy to get posterizers because it's really hard to get blocked on them. So just make sure to buy these. I'm pretty sure that most of these dunk packages are free. I only have seven on. As you can see, I don't have any flashy ones on, so that will help me a lot with not getting blocked. Next, you want to go to the right, go to edit playbook. Then you're going to want to click R2. Once you get to this screen, you want to make sure that every single player on your team has their priority 1 set to 3 point and their priority 2 through 4 set to none, except for your point guards. As you can see, this guy has 3 point, this guy has 3 point, and then Trey Young and Lonzo Ball, I set their priority 2 to pick and roll ball handler. And once you do get to your player, you want to make your priority 1 post up high and your priority 2 pick and roll roll man. And when you have your teammates priority 1 set to 3 point, while you're posting up, they're just going to be sitting on the 3 point line so it's less likely that they'll be sitting in the paint and getting in your way. I already showed you guys Trey Young and Lonzo Ball in my lineup, but with the rest of your lineup, you want to have them have a high three-pointer. This guy has a 99 mid-range, a 99 three-pointer. My small forward has a 91 mid-range and a 99 three-pointer. And then my center has a 75 mid-range and an 81 three-pointer. So you want to make sure that everybody in the starting lineup can shoot just so that their defenders actually guard them on the three and don't pay camp or try to play help defense on you. Once you're done with that, make sure to go to options, go to settings, and make sure you're on Hall of Fame 12 minute quarters and that your crowd intensity camera shake is turned off. And to save time, I also turned action replays and after the basket camera cuts off. And after your normal settings, make sure to go to controller settings and make sure that your pro stick orientation is set to absolute. And this will help you to do reverse layups and reverse dunks, which I'll explain later in the video. Also, before you do this method, you want to make sure that you buy boost from the boost store. The boost store is right here next to the daily spin and next to the cages. And the boosts that you do need are layups and dunks. And then you want to go to the blocks because in this rep method, the main way to get rep is by getting posterizers, by doing post spins and getting blocks. Those are the three things that get me the most rep. And also, if you guys are 93 overall or higher, make sure you go to the daily spin every day. Try to get unlimited boosts and Gatorade because that has helped me so much with this method, especially unlimited boosts. When you get into the career game, when you're on offense, you're going to want to click left on the D-pad. This is going to bring up the play calling menu. And once you do that, you're going to want to click R1 and that'll call a quick isolation. And you can only do this if you're a 94 overall. But if you're under a 94 overall, what you're going to want to do is get the ball on offense, click L1, and then click the icon that comes up over your head. And that's basically going to be like a quick isolation. It's going to get all your teammates to move out of the way so you can be open in the post. Also, when you're on defense, you want to click left on the D-pad, click R2, and then you want to click half court trap. This will make your teammates double team the ball handler and it'll be a lot easier to get blocks. Moving back to offense, 
After you call a quick isolation, you're going to want to do a post spin and then try to dunk on your defender. This will help you get my points for post rising dunks and for post spin finishes and it will also help you to get your takeover. So basically with this method you want to spam post spins and try to get post risers and do that until you get team takeover. You don't want to activate takeover once you get it. You definitely want to wait until team takeover and once you get that you want to control your point guard and just do pick and rolls. Once you see good screen in the top right and your guy rolls, you can just pass it to him, get a layup or a dunk. Layups are fine, but dunks are definitely better because you can add to the posterizer count. If your my player misses the defender on the screen, you can just call him back. And to make sure he hits the defender, if you can't tell, just make sure it says good screen in the top right. And then you can pass to him for a layup or a dunk. And I believe the posterizers get you more rep than pick and roll finishes. But when you do have team takeover, you don't want to try to get any posters off the post spins. You want to try to get them off pick and roll finishes because posterizers actually do cap out at 20. So if you end up getting more than 20, they're not going to count at all. So that's why you have to do some pick and rolls just so that you don't spam the post spin posterizers and you're not going to get any rep for anything. Also, if you're ever on a fast break, you want to make sure that you can try to get a posterizing dunk right here. I've managed to run to the left a little bit to get the defender sort of in front of me. And then if you look in the top right after fast break score, you can see there it says posterize. So you kind of want to bait your defender to running right next to you so that he's not behind you. And if you end up not getting a good post spin animation, you can always just end up drop stepping the defender because drop steps also give you a pretty good amount of rep. And this rep method does work best on inside big man. So if you are an inside big man, you can get posterizer animation. So that's going to help you with that. And you can also make pretty crazy layups like these. As you can see, I greened this layup. Not sure how, but I'll definitely take it. And also make sure to get a free throw release that you like and that you can time because free throws are pretty important for rep as well. When you're on offense doing post spins, you want to check for opponents playing help defense. Right here you can see they started to play help defense really late so I ended up getting a posterizer. And in this next clip he also played help defense very late so I got a posterizer animation. But if they do run towards you really early, you just want to pass out, get the ball back and call another quick isolation and just redo the post spin all over again. That's better than missing a dunk and lowering your field goal percentage because that will only lower your rep. One last thing before we move into defense, if your opponent does get a good defensive animation on the post spin like this, you're going to want to move your right stick in the direction of the floor that you're coming from to take a reverse layup. So if you're coming from the left side of the floor, you want to move your right analog stick to the left. And if you're coming from the right, you're going to want to move it to the right. This will make you do a reverse layup or even a reverse dunk sometimes. So moving into defense, you want to make sure that you call a half court trap. To do this, you want to press left on the D-pad, press R2, and then press square, which will make you call a half court trap. This will make the ball handler get double teamed, and all you have to do is watch for cuts. So right here, I just watched for a cut, I baited him, I got an easy block. And once you do that, you can either take a fast break dunk, or you can just go back to posting up, call a quick isolation, and take an easy layup or dunk in the paint. The good thing about the half court trap is you only have to call it once, unlike the quick isolation. When you're on defense, you want to watch for who on your team is double teamed. So right here, I can see that the center on my team is double teaming, so I stayed out of the paint just so that the center on the other team would roll into the paint and I baited him into an easy block. Once again, on defense, you just want to stay out of the paint, let your opponent go into the paint, and then you want to run into the paint last second and block him. Right here, I get one block, they end up getting the rebound, and I do get a second block right there and a third block right there. So you can get a bunch of blocks in one possession by doing this. I think four is the most I've ever gotten in one possession, but most of the time I end up getting one or two because me or one of my teammates gets the rebound. But I have finished some games with 15 blocks, some with 20. But I think 21 or 22 is the highest I've gotten in a game. I think I forgot to mention this before, but when you are on offense and you have your takeover, make sure to not activate it and make sure to be very careful because if you make one mistake, your takeover is going to go all the way down. So it's better to just do post spins and take uncontested dunks just in case you miss them or in case you get put into a bad layup or dunk animation. If you take a look at the rep we got from this game, you can see we got 12 blocks, which is 8k my points. We got 17 posterizers, which is 18k my points. And then on pick and roll finishes, 17 for 17, that's 14k. And that's a total of 97,000 my points. This next game was pretty much the same thing. We got 11 blocks, we capped out at 20 posterizers, and we got 23 for 23 on pick and roll finishes, and we finished with 103,000 my points. And I'm just showing you guys multiple games, so you don't think it's fake, so you don't think it was a one game fluke. So the first game I got 97k, the second game I got 103k, and in this game I got 92k. And in these last two games I got 104,000 which is the most I've ever gotten, and then 101,000. 
If you guys have any questions about this rep method or if there's anything that you don't think I explained, just make sure to ask me a question in the comment section below. Also, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been King Josh and I'm out. Peace.